Hello and welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create this rolling text animation in Adobe After Effects. Also, I will teach you how to create the background as well. I am inside of Adobe After Effects now, and now let's begin by creating the rolling text. There are many ways to achieve this effect in After Effects. You can use the CC Reptile effect with the track mat to achieve this effect, or you can duplicate the text and use null objects to do it. You can also achieve this effect with the offset effect. Now, I will use this third method since I think it's a bit faster. Now, let's create a new composition and set the height to 300. And now let's rename it to rolling. Now, I'm going to select the type tool and I'm going to write the word rolling. And then I will adjust its position. So, rolling consists of 7 letters, right? We need to duplicate this shape 7 times and create a mask for each letter. So, I'm going to rename each duplicate to a letter. Now, I will solo each letter and I will draw a mask around it. So, I will go towards my rectangle tool and I will start to draw a mask around the R letter. Now, selecting the first layer, I will add the offset effect to it. Now, this effect works like this. If I set a keyframe here and then at the 2 seconds, I start increasing the number to, for example, minus 2500, we will have a rolling effect like this. However, we need to find the right number to prevent the letter position from changing. So, I will use a guideline to help me with this. So let's adjust its easings and I'm going to adjust the graphs like this. Now I will copy the effect and I will paste it for the third, fifth and the seventh layers. Now also I need to push the keyframes to the beginning. Now, I will set the Y position to a positive number and I will paste it to the rest of the layers. Now, we will have the rolling effect that we want. Another thing that we can do is to use transition effects to make the text more interesting. Now, a shout out to Smart Timba Graphics, if I spell it correct, for this amazing idea I mentioned in this video. So go and check out these other works as they are really amazing. Now let's create a new adjustment layer and let's call it stop. Now, in the effects window panel, under the transition tab, for example, I can select the CC grid wipe effect. You can choose anything you like. Then, I will adjust its settings and I will place the keyframes to animate it. We can also apply a fast box blur or CC force motion blur to um, kind of make our text blurry. Now, here's the text. Now we'll bring it to the main composition and I will set a keyframe for the scale. Alright, now for the new gradient background, we will create a new solid layer. Then, 
we can add the four color gradient effect. And I will adjust the points like this. By the way, I have explained this effect on the day one of this challenge, so you can watch that video if you find it difficult to work with this effect. Now I will hold Alt and I will add a wiggle expression for the point four. Now I will add the wave warp effect. Changing the type to triangle, I will set the height to 150 and the wave to 75. I will also scale the gradient layer to get rid of the black gaps and I will rotate it like this. Lastly, I will reduce the wave speed to 0.5. Now, here's the final result. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave out a like and subscribe to my channel as it would help me a lot to grow on YouTube. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.